everybody, it's Lon Simon, and welcome to the Extras channel. I'm going to be reviewing the Voyo V1. They call this the VMAC, believe it or not. Uh, they shouldn't because it's not a Mac, but it is a uh, Apollo Lake powered mini computer. And we will be doing a full review of this on my main channel at lon.tv. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be looking at its upgradability. So what you have to do is, uh, they don't make it easy. Uh, but you have to pull off the uh, little feet here, and uh, these things really uh, don't get back on that easily. So I'll have to re-glue everything back on when I'm done. And what I did earlier was I just put my screwdriver uh, inside these little vent holes here to get this uh, bottom piece uh, taken out. So they actually have a pretty decent industrial design here. It's all metal, and it looks nice. This is the blue one. It um, really does look pretty nice, but uh, Voyo has not been very good on customer service over time. I had to clear my throat there, so I apologize for the jump cut. So this one is upgradable both in storage and in RAM, and they have a uh, rail here that you can install a uh, traditional two and a half inch hard drive. I'm not sure how it interfaces uh, with a SATA connector, so we're gonna have to probably take all of this stuff off and flip it over uh, to see what is underneath. So there's screws on uh, the top of it here for the uh, top portion of the case that you just, or the bottom portion of the case that you just saw there. Uh, now what I need to do is get these other screws taken out uh, so I can pull the entire unit out. So let's see uh, what's underneath, stay tuned. All right, the screws are done and the rails are removed. There is a SATA connector right here, as you can see. They don't give you the cable though in the box to adapt it to the back of a hard drive. So you'll need to find that uh, yourself there, but there is room here to uh, uh, place a finger in here to pop open the back of the motherboard. And this is the main board uh, of our little computer here. And uh, what they've got built in is an M2 SATA card. This one has 128 gigabytes. We'll test the speed during the review. Uh, and they've got a four gigabyte stick. So you can replace this with an eight gigabyte stick if you want. Uh, the Apollo Lake processor, at least in this computer, is not fanless as you can see. It's underneath that uh, big heat sink and fan. So that fan does come on quite a bit and it is a little noisy when I use it. So uh, it's not a silent computer like some of the other ones that we've seen in the past are. Uh, there's the drive, so you can see what brand it is, a King Spec. I'm not sure what brand that is, it must be a Chinese brand. And then we've got some RAM here. I'm not sure who makes that either, but we will uh, do all of our usual testing here and see how this one stacks up with other mini PCs we've tested. I'm gonna put this back together and see how it works. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s. 